Hey there, it's Seb Fry, and guess what? It's story time. I have a story for you about a couple of kids. Actually, they're not really kids. They're in their early 30s, and they bought a house in San Jose in 2019. And after a couple of years of working on the house, they said to themselves, you know what? We would really like to move. We want a different lifestyle. Uh, we want to get a different house. And so uh, we want to sell our house, we think. And, you know, you know what happens when people think about selling a house? They start looking around for, you know, realtors who can help them uh, get that done. And, um, you know, they talked to a few different realtors, and I was fortunate enough to be one of the realtors they talked to. And they also had a family member who was a realtor. And, uh, you know, so after talking to a few realtors and talking to myself, you know, it took them several months. I want to say it was about three months between the time I first contacted them to the time they uh, decided to hire me. But finally, they decided to, you know, to pull the trigger, put the house on the market and uh, and make that big move. Uh, and they were really looking for someone who would be a mentor to them, who would really hold their hand. You know, when they bought the property in 2019, they didn't really feel very well supported by their realtor. They thought there was a bunch of stuff they just didn't know and never ended up knowing really until I came in and helped them to, to get their house um, sold. So they really wanted somebody who had that breadth of experience, who was willing to take the time and make sure that they really felt comfortable and supported and well guided to have an excellent outcome. You know, uh, it's really tough when you do have a family member who is a realtor to actually not use that family member and use a different realtor. And so I really felt a lot of responsibility to make sure that I really did do an incredible job helping them get their house sold. And, uh, you know, I do that with every client, you know, but these guys in particular, you know, I really felt like, you know, they were looking to me to make sure that they were very, very, very well taken care of because this was their first time selling a house and they'd only owned a house for a little bit more than two years at that point. Now, this was, uh, by, by the time they agreed to actually hire me and move forward with selling their house, it was already the beginning of October. And so we were coming up against the holiday season and so we didn't have very much time, you know. So uh, we got right to work. I brought in a stager and we went to the property and the prop they've done a great job of the property over the two years they'd owned it, but it, it did need a little polish. And so I brought in the stager and I brought in a team of contractors and we did some, uh, some you know, buffing and shining of the property. Not that much, as I recall, they spent around $10,000. Half of that was landscaping, um, getting the property ready for market. So it took us about three weeks uh, to get the property, uh, you know, looking really, really good. Um, and then we did what I like to do, which is a, a sneak peek uh, open house. You know, I, I, I talked to this, um, I offered this to a lot of sellers, but uh, a lot of people end up not wanting to do it because when, they ho when the house is ready, a lot of people just say, you know what, let's just get on the market. But these guys, uh, they were happy to do the sneak peek. And, you know, I do a sneak peek, which is a neighbor's only open house. You know, I mailed like uh, 635 postcards or something to everybody in the neighborhood and invited them to come to the sneak peek open house. And they got pretty good traffic. I want to say we got like a dozen people through. And there were some other brokers in my office who sent some buyers by as well. And the feedback was great. Everyone was like, wow, this is a wonderful, wonderful property. Um, and uh, when are we going to be able to uh, make an offer on it? So uh, I said, listen, we're not going to take an offer in the pre-marketing period, which I always advise my sellers. Hey, listen, as tempting as it may be, don't take an offer in the pre-market period. You know, get that home on the market. Make sure it's available to all comers. And, and these guys, they were really receptive to listening to me, and, and which is wonderful. And so, you know, we had that sneak peek open house actually on October 31st. It was on Halloween evening. So we had the open house, uh, I think it was from like 1 to 3 on Halloween uh, and I had a big bowl of candy there for everybody who came through. So uh, I think it was the next day, I think it was on Monday or Tuesday, something like that, we uh, launched the property out on the open uh, markets, right? We put it on the MLS, you know, it had been a, a coming soon, which you know, has very little visibility, uh, but then we marked, made it uh, active on the MLS and uh, immediately, of course, the phone blows up and a lot of people want to start coming by. And, you know, these folks they actually had three small children and they didn't really want to have like a, you know, like a, a circus going through their house. You know, I mean, like they had these kids, they had nap times and all that. So 
actually we didn't have, we didn't schedule that many showings during the week because we only had like a few showing windows and we could only fit so many people in there. Uh, but then the weekend came along and um, you know the family cleared out. They gave me a few hours uh, the following Saturday and Sunday to do open houses and the open houses they were crazy, man. I mean we had like. 20 or 30 parties through uh, each day of the uh, Saturday and Sunday open houses. So I'm going to say between those two days, we had 40 or 50 uh, buyer parties come through um, the property. And the feedback was uh, outstanding. And, you know, we talked about waiting another week to keep the property on the market longer to see if we could even, um, you know, get more interest. But you know, a lot of times you just got to, you know, strike while the iron is hot. You know, I was feeling like we were going to be able to get like a really great offer and, and people just started sending in offers. You know, I said, hey, the offer review date to be determined. Well, people didn't wait for me to determine that offer review date. They just started sending offers in. So after I first after I got the first one or two offers, I was like, yeah, everybody, just give me what you got. Right. So. Uh, we ended up getting uh, five offers on the property, and they were all very aggressive offers. You know, no contingencies, you know, as is sale, you know, free rent back, you know, all that good stuff. Everything that sellers dream about getting. But crucially, in this case, it was way over asking price. You know, uh, we listed at a million one ninety five, which was a little bit low. You know, I said, you know, the comps show a million two twenty five. I mean, that's kind of what the comps are showing for homes of very similar size, age, lot size in this particular subdivision. Uh, and I said, you know, a million two fifty, I think if we get a million two fifty, you know, we'd be selling above the comps and we'd be doing really good. Well guess what? Million three sixty. We sold that thing for a million three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Uh, and you know, everyone, you know, we were all just, you know, delighted and thrilled. And one of my favorite parts of this wholesale was when I was going over the net sheet with them, right? So like, you know, we get an offer and I say, okay, here's your offer price. And after all your expenses, right, this is what you're gonna end up with at the closing table. You're gonna walk away with this much money. And so I said, uh, according to my calculations, I, it was like $440,000. And I said, so you're gonna get $440,000. And there was like a, a pause, there was like a silence. And, and then the wife said, she goes, what? You mean somebody's gonna hand me a check for $440,000? And I said, yeah, approximately. And she goes, holy beep. <laughs> and it was just amazing. And, you know, they're not going to blow that money. They're not going to go and buy a Lamborghini, right? They're going to put it into their next house, right? But you know what's going to happen? You know what that money means? It means they're going to get a bigger house, a nicer house, and they're going to cut their mortgage payment in half, right? So they're going to have a much easier, much more comfortable lifestyle for themselves in the new place where they move to. And, uh, you know, they're buying a new construction home and uh, it's in a community they love with great schools. And, and honestly, they couldn't be happier. And I'm really happy too, to have been able to play really a pretty small part. You know, I'm just the guide, right? I mean, like they did all the work. They bought the house to begin with. They spent two years, you know, fixing up and improving it. I just came in at the very end and, and gave them that guidance, that direction uh, to tell them, hey, listen, if you really want to knock this out of the park, this is what you do. And they were completely receptive to it. They did everything I asked of them and they had amazing, amazing results. And I wanted to share that with you because I'm, I'm so proud of those guys. Uh, you know, I really feel that they are really, really well positioned to have, uh, you know, an incredible, incredible experience with their new community. And really many, many years, I think of a very happy life is, uh, is coming their way. So I just wanted to share that with you. All right, well, that's it. That's all I got for this uh, video, but listen, if you ever have uh, interest in, you know, having a similar result for the sale of your house, listen, do me a favor, send me a text message. My uh, phone number here is at the bottom of the screen. It's 408-548-7348. You can uh, message me anytime or you can call me or email me. You can find me online. I'm everywhere. Uh, and uh, listen, you know, do me a huge favor. This would be totally awesome. If you would uh, click that bing button right there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be super awesome as well. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. Hey, thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll have another video up again, you know, before too long.